Hi, I'm Michael Bakic. I'm here at the Pacific Astronomy and Telescope Show, and this weekend I'm acting as a representative for the Astronomy Outreach Foundation. My name is Carly Maris. My father is Vic Maris, owner of Stellar View Telescopes. Luna. I'm a graduate student at UC Irvine. The Astronomy Outreach Foundation is a brand new organization of telescope manufacturers, magazines, and interested individuals who are trying to help the amateur astronomy community, trying to help astronomy clubs, trying to impart astronomy to the general public. And we're doing that tonight with a moon watch. And you can see behind me, there are several telescopes set up already and more being set up. It's really cool to be here because we have people like just walking down the street and stopping and looking in telescopes. A moon observing session like the one we're doing tonight attracts mainly families, people of all ages. You know, the moon is something that no matter how bright it is in the city, you can always see. So that's why this international moon viewing night is, is really cool. And a little bit later on, as it gets a little bit darker, Jupiter will be rising above the eastern horizon and we'll be looking at that as well. And there are a few reasons. First of all, there's a storm on Jupiter that has the huge red spot. I think that's cool to see. And then you can also see the moons. And with a powerful enough telescope, you can even see the moons rotate around Jupiter. So we're all here having a great time. We expect a really good turnout as it does begin to get darker. You can just go to a star party and use other people's telescopes and they're free. I don't have a great job, I don't make a lot of money, but I still like to have fun and so doing stuff like this is really cool. You can see things in the sky and everybody has a sense of wonder about what's going on in the sky above us. Reminds me that, you know, we are such a small part of this huge universe. Worldwide, science education is a bit on the decline. A huge decline. And what we're trying to do is get, especially kids, Gen X, Gen Y, interested in astronomy. People in the younger generations, like my generation, what I'm noticing is we have tons of interests, but they're only mild interests. And we also don't have the money, because none of us can get jobs, um, to have a really great hobby like astronomy. Which is, you know, one of the easiest sciences to kind of get involved in. Even though we don't have, you know, the funds or whatever to do that. And so the Astronomy Outreach Foundation is gonna try to help kids like me and you know other people in the younger generations to have that same sort of experience. The Astronomy Outreach Foundation is going to do a lot more public astronomy events, a lot more sidewalk astronomy events, and will be represented at conferences. In fact, next month, a bunch of us will be in Washington, D.C. at a huge stargaze. Sort of like a grassroots movement to try and get, you know, education going. Next July, we'll be at the uh, EAA Air Show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It's the world's number one air show with the number one attendance. Many hundreds of thousands of people will be there and the Astronomy Outreach Foundation will be talking about astronomy, our love of astronomy, how they can get interested in astronomy and the resources that we have. And also work on education, not just in the schools, but in general, you know, helping people through media and through videos um, and social networking to learn how they can get involved. For more information about other events like this one, about who the Astronomy Outreach Foundation is, and many other resources you'll be able to download, go to astronomyoutreachfoundation.org. Thanks for watching.